All right. So, if DM is 25, how do we find the value of R? What would you do? Now, some of you, because it's multiple choice, would take the answers and plug them in until you found the right answer. Okay? That would work. But what else could we do? If DM was 25, what would you do with these two expressions? Add them up and make an equation. Very good. Add them up and make an equation. On the left side, we combine like terms. R plus 2R is 3R. 2 minus 13 is negative 11 equals 25. What do we do to both sides? Add 11. 3R equals 36. R equals 12. It wants the value of R, not what DG or GM is. Okay. What is PQR? PQR is this angle right here. To figure it out, we have to find out what X is. Okay. Are, are these two equal each other? Are those two angles the same size? No. no, they're not the same size. So we can't set them equal to each other. So what do we set them equal to? 180. They're part of a straight line. They are a linear pair. Linear pairs always add up to 180. So 3x minus 5 plus x plus 1 equals 180. 3x and x make 4x minus 4 equals 180. If we add 4, 4x equals 184. Divide by 4, what do we get? Forty-six. Now it asks for PQR. PQR is not forty-six. PQR is what you get when you stick forty-six in there. So three times forty-six minus five. Three times forty-six is one thirty-eight minus five is one thirty-three. That's what PQR is. Points L, M, and N are collinear. That means they're on the same line. So we go L, M, N. This is 13. This whole thing is 20. How long is MN? Seven. Okay. Seven. Ray BD bisects ABC. So we'll draw. A, B, C, B, D, bisects A, B, C. D, B, C is X plus 6. A, B, D is 2X minus 12. What is X? So if it's a bisector, it splits the angle into two equal angles. These are two equal angles. What do I do with this and this? Set them equal to each other. 2X minus 12 equals X plus 6. Subtract x from each side. x minus 12 equals 6. Add 12. x equals 18. What's the distance between these two points? Well, we use the distance formula. So we make this one x1, y1. <coughs> this one x2, y2. So the distance equals the square root of 4 minus 2 squared plus 14 minus 9 squared, which is 2 squared plus 5 squared, which is 4 plus 25, which is the square root of 29, which is 5 point something. I don't know what that is. That's even what it is. At square root of 29. All right, how, Hazel, what do you get? 5.39. So if we're rounding to the nearest whole number, it would round to 5. Okay? So make sure you look at the directions of what you're supposed to do. If they say round to the nearest tenth, and you round to the nearest hundredth, I'll take a point off. If you round to the nearest whole number, I'll take a point off. Okay? So make sure you do what it says when when you have directions like this. KN, 
K to N is 3. I K. I to K is 2. How long is KN plus IK? 5. What's the coordinate of the midpoint of GO? G is at negative 4. O is at 4. What's halfway in between negative 4 and 4? 0. So the midpoint is at 0. If a number is an integer, it is either positive or negative. What is the hypothesis of that? If a number is an integer, it is either positive or negative. If a number is an integer, a number is an integer, the first part is the hypothesis. The last part is the conclusion. What's the length of a segment with these endpoints? x1, y1, x2, y2, the square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared, which is 7 squared plus 0 squared, which is square root of 49, which is 7. Is the converse of the conditional below true? If a polygon is a triangle, then it has exactly three sides. So the converse would be, if a polygon has exactly three sides, it's a triangle. Is that true or false? True. That is true. So that would be yes. It is true. Law of detachment. If a person wants a car, a person must buy insurance. Jayla wants a car. So what does Jayla have to do? Jayla, ha Jayla must buy car insurance. Not she already has car insurance. She must buy car insurance. Okay, angle 2 is congruent to angle 4. Why? They are vertical angles. The vertical angles theorem says that they are congruent. Also using that diagram, um, angle 1 and 2. What do we know about angles 1 and 2? They're a linear pair, so they're supplementary, so they add up to 180. 4x plus 2 plus 110 equals 180. So 4x plus 112. Let me redo that. 112 equals 180. 4x equals 68. Divide by 4. x equals mm, 1, 7, 17. That's what your test is going to be like. That's what your practice test is going to be like. Guess what? You now have a 25-minute study hall, so you can get stuff done. If you got everything done, that's fine. But you got 25 minutes to do whatever you need to. You ready to take quizzes, or you want to look over stuff first? Because you have quiz over one. Because you have you missing quizzes, right? Or okay, maybe you are caught up. I can't remember. Okay. All right. Yep. Just sign out.